With WebLEC, you get direct access to top experts in equine medicine and surgery. And this arrangement disrupts. The external areas are well designed in the horse to funnel air in, and of course, as you, you're aware, the horse in nature exercises with its head and neck in extension, so it's quite an effective and practical system for, for ensuring airflow into the lower respiratory tract. See just what damage can happen with problems in the nose. You can see this horse, which sustained a laceration of its external nares, and the severe obstruction that's produced by scar tissue here is quite dramatic. When and, uh, fiber optic endoscopy became available, um, we currently believe and have believed for a long time that this is not a condition that should be treated as these lymphoid follicles will gradually regress as the horse gets older. And we did, uh, 30 years ago, look at the performance of, of racehorses and photographed the pharynges and really demonstrated that there was no relationship between performance and the presence of lymphoid hyperplasia. To, to, to mouth breathe. And, but, but what happens is this tremendous billowing effect of the rostral edge of the intrapharyngeal ostium produces tremendous turbulence, a loud noise, and respiratory.